Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a basket. This basket is very easy to make, it's great for beginner. And I have free written pattern, it's available on my blog and also PDF printable version is available on my Etsy shop. I will put all the link in description below. I hope you enjoy! For this project, I use two color of Lion Brand. So this is Lion Brand Woolies, Thick and Quick. And this is 106 yards. The yarn size, super bulky 6. And here is the color. So I use this to be my color A. And I don't use the whole skin, I use about 70 yards for color A. And then this gonna be my color B. And also line brand, woolies, thick and quick stripes. And it is 87 yards. And super bulky number 6 yarn. And here is the color. And I use about 50 yards for color B. And I will put all the details in description below. Please check that out. Crochet hook, size 8 millimeters. Scissors, yarn needle, stitch marker. Before we start, I just want to talk about this basket a little bit. It's very cute. It also have the handle here. It's very cute. And it's very easy to make. So I use two colors. You can use more than two or you can use just one color. It's totally up to you. And it's very easy. It's very, uh, it's good for beginner. So we will start make the bottom first. Make the bottom, just single crochet, but we will uh, increase to make it bigger, wider. And then for the body, the body part, we just make one single crochet into each stitch around over and over. And I will tell you exactly how many rows that I make for color A and how many rows that I make for color B. See, really easy and cute and have the handle right here. And I love these two color go together. It's very beautiful. And also you can wear like a like a bag, a, like a little bag like this. It's very cute. I really enjoy this project. Yeah, and very fast to make as well because we use a super bulky yarn. Yeah. And let's get started. <laughs> okay, first I gonna bring my color A and then I gonna make magic ring. So I twist the yarn like this and hold it right here. Insert the hook into this loop. Pull up a loop and chain one. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch, just the part of magic ring, okay? And we gonna make six single crochet into this ring space. So insert the hook into the ring space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the first single crochet. I'm just gonna place the marker. Okay, and we do that. Again, insert the hook into the ring space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. Now we have two. Insert the hook into the ring space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is three, repeat that. Four, five, and six. Okay, now when you have six single crochet into the ring space, you're gonna pull this tail tight to close up the hole. Like so. That's what it look like. So this is row one, okay? And now row two, we're gonna make two single crochet into each stitch 
around. Okay, I'm just gonna remove marker first. And then this is the first stitch. So insert the hook into the first stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And place the marker. So place the marker every time you start new rows. Okay. And then one more single crochet into the same stitch. Okay. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, keep making two single crochet into each stitch till you reach the end here and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of round two and I have 12 stitches. Okay, now for round three, we're going to make two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch. So first, remove marker first. So two single crochet into the first stitch here. And then place the marker back in. And then make one more single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. And we repeat that. Two, one, two, one. Okay, so next stitch gonna be two single crochet. And then one single crochet. Okay, you're gonna repeat that. Next stitch gonna be two single crochet, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around till you reach the end, and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of round three, and I have 18 stitches. Okay, for round four, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next two stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. It's like one, one, two. And repeat that, okay? Remove marker first. And make a one single crochet into the first stitch. And place the marker back in. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. See, it's one, one, two, and we will repeat that. So, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, you're gonna repeat one, one, two around till you reach the end, and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of round four, and I have 24 stitches. And for round five, we're gonna make two single crochet into the first stitch, and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches. It's like two, one, 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 and we will repeat that. And we're gonna remove marker first, and then make two single crochet into the first stitch. This is first single crochet, place the marker back in. And then make one more single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we have two, one, 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 and then repeat that. Next stitch gonna be two. Okay, and then next. Three stitches gonna be one single crochet in there. So one, two, three. See? You can now repeat two, one, one, one around till you reach the end, and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of round five, and I have 30 stitches. And for round six, it's gonna be one single crochet into each. Uh, first two stitches that is not the uh, repeat yet okay so for the repeat it's gonna be two single crochet into next stitch 
and one single crochet into each of next four stitches. So it's like two, one, 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 one. That is the repeat. Okay. So I remove marker first and then make one single crochet into the first stitch and place the marker back in. Oops. Okay. And one single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, like I said, this is not repeat yet. So next gonna be repeat. So two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and then one single crochet into each of next four stitches and repeat that. So two single crochet. And then one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One two, three, and four. Okay, and we're gonna repeat that. Two single crochet into next stitch. And one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And we will repeat that. Two, one, 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 one. Repeat that till you have three stitches left at the end and I will meet you guys back in. Now I have three stitches left at the end here and then next stitch we're gonna make two single crochet in there. And then one single crochet into each of last two stitches. So the end of round 6, I have 36 stitches and now for round 7, we are gonna start with one single crochet into each uh, 4 stitches, that is not repeat yet, okay? And the repeat is gonna be 2 single crochet into next stitch and then 1 single crochet into each of next five stitches and repeat that it's like two one 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 yep and first remove marker and one single crochet into the first stitch and place the marker back in and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches So in close the first stitch, you will have four stitches here, okay? And now we're going to start the repeat part. So make two single crochet into next stitch. And then one single crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then repeat that. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of next five stitches. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that. Make two single crochet into next stitch and one single crochet into each of next five stitches. Repeat that till you have two stitches left at the end and I will meet you guys back in. Now I have two stitches left at the end. I'm going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into the last stitch. So the end of round 7, I have 42 stitches and round 8 is going to be one single crochet into each of next 6 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. It's like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. So we move marker first, make one single crochet into the first stitch. 
and place the marker back in. Okay, and one single crochet into each. Oh, sorry, <laughs> one single crochet into each of next five stitches. So include the first one, you will have six single crochet. Okay, so now I have six single crochet here and then next step is going to be two single crochet. And we will repeat that. One single crochet into each of next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six and then two single crochet into the next stitch okay and you can now repeat that one single crochet into each of next six stitches and two single crochet into next stitch and repeat that around and i will meet you guys back in when you reach the end here i'm at the end of row eight and i have 48 stitches around and now we're gonna start the body part. So we're just gonna make a single crochet around, not increase or decrease, okay? I remove marker first. So I will call this row one for the body part. So make one single crochet into each stitch around. So insert the hook into the first stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through and the first stitch we always gonna place the marker okay and then insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through it's a very easy pattern okay you're gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around and when you reach the end of row one, you will have the same 48 stitches and I will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one and I have the same 48 stitches. Now for round two to row eight, we're gonna repeat row one, okay? Just normal single crochet into each stitch around. So I'm just gonna remove marker first gonna start round two make one single crochet into each stitch around right like I said we're gonna repeat round one set the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through and over place the marker into the first stitch and insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through just make a single crochet okay it's very easy so you just keep making one single crochet into each stitch around and every round you should have the same amount of your stitches. So I should have 48 stitches every round. All right. So yeah, don't forget to place the marker into the first stitch when you start new row. And yeah, keep repeating row one till you have eight rounds and i will meet you guys back in when you come to the end of row eight now i'm at the end of row eight this is what it look like and then for the last stitch i'm gonna show you guys how to change the color okay so i'm just gonna insert the hook into the last stitch and pull up a loop and then i'm gonna drop the color a and bring the color b and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through with the color B. This is how we change the color. That's what it looks like. And now, round nine to round 12, we're gonna repeat the same pattern but with color B. Okay, so I remove marker first. And then insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through and then place the marker into the first stitch and then the tail of the color b i just gonna 
with the end at the same time so I work over it okay I'll show you insert the hook into next stitch see I go um, over the tail of the color B pull up a loop yarn over and pull through insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through repeat the same pattern and then for the color A I just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end you can weave the end now or later it doesn't matter so I just gonna weave the end later so I just gonna continue with my color B here okay that's what it looks like so keep making one single crochet into each stitch around and uh, when you start new row don't forget to place the marker into the first stitch now we just repeat the same pattern but just change the color to be the color B so here is round 9 so for round 9 to round 12 we are gonna use color B and I'll crochet the same pattern okay and yeah I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of round 12 I'm at the end of round 12 that's what it look like okay so for round 13 I gonna chain uh, 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then skip ten stitches start count from the marker stitch okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then single crochet into the uh, 11th stitch okay skip 10 and single crochet into the next stitch insert the hook there pull up a loop yarn over and pull through this what it look like and then make one single crochet into each of next 13 stitches so include this single crochet you will have 14 single crochet stitches okay Now we have two. Oops. Okay, let me count real quick. Okay, I have fourteen single crochet here. Includes the first one too. Okay, and then we're gonna chain 12. We're gonna create this part again, this handle. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then skip 10 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then in the eleventh stitch, you're gonna make one single crochet in there. Right here, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, and then make one single crochet into each stitch till you reach the end here, and you should have fourteen single crochet. It's same at this side, okay? So now I have one here. Oops. Okay. That's what it looks like. This is the end of round thirteen. So, I skip 10 stitches here, 
skip 10 stitches here and I have uh, 12 chains and I have 14 stitches on this side and then I skip 10 stitches here and I have 12 chains and I have 14 stitches on this side so it look like and then for round 14 we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain here so we have 12 chains we should have 12 single crochet here okay see this is the first stitch next stitch next stitch Okay, now I have 12 stitches here and then we're just going to make one single crochet into each stitch here. So the first stitch will be this one. Oops. See, that's what it looks like. You're going to keep making one single crochet into each stitch and then when you reach the chain stitch part you're gonna do the same as this chain stitch part you're gonna make one single crochet into each chain stitch and then you're gonna continue make one single crochet into each stitch till you reach the end here the end of round 14 and I will meet you guys back in I'm in the end of round 14 and then for round 15 gonna be the final round we just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around it's very easy just no more single crochet okay you just gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around till you reach the end of round 15 and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of round 15, that's what it looks like and then I'm just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. So I cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. And then I pull the yarn out and bring my yarn needle okay this is my favorite to to end my crochet so I gonna skip the next stitch and then I insert my needle into next stitch here skip this one insert into this one pull it out I create a new stitch that's why I skip this one okay and then insert the needle back into the last single crochet that we did right here in the middle here the middle V here insert in there go into the back like so and see we just create a new stitch very beautiful this is my favorite see you can tell that we end right here, right? <laughs> very smooth, very beautiful. And then I'm just gonna hide the tail inside the basket. Okay, you're gonna hide the tail, make sure it's clear, and then you trim the tail and you're done. And then you need to hide all the tails that you have in your project, okay? And yeah, I'm just gonna remove my fur. So it look like it's very cute. I love it and I love the color. It's very cute. You can put many stuff in there or even sometimes you wanna 
bring like a little bag, <laughs> like wear like a little bag for to go. It's really cute as well. See, really cute. And yeah, congratulations! You just create a beautiful basket here. I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see your basket as well. Please feel free to text me on my social media. I will put all the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.